Hi, Barry Craft here with Nature Photography Club. Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time to view this video. I hope you find it informative as well as entertaining. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of sharpening here on the uh, image of this flower. Uh, although it's not uh, too bad, uh, I believe we can improve it. And we're going to use um, the high pass filter. Uh, commonly, uh, I, c I use it quite frequently, particularly when there's uh, needs to be more aggressive sharpening. But uh, I think it gives uh, very good results. So we're going to begin by zooming in here a bit. Uh, let's do this and zoom in. That looks about right. As you can see. Uh, it's not too bad. I'm going to move it down here a bit. And the first thing we're going to do is duplicate the layer because what the filter that we're going to use, we need to make it on a duplicate layer to make it work. So you can just take and drag the layer down here. Now, I'm not sure what version of Photoshop you're using. This is the newest version, uh, Photoshop CS3 Extended. However, uh, I have tested this in earlier versions, uh, I believe as early as Photoshop 7, uh, and that's still available. So uh, you can try it. I'm not sure how it works in Photoshop Elements. Uh, I'm not that familiar with that program. Anyhow, once you have the layer duplicated here. We're going to go up to filter and we'll go over here to other and it's called high pass. Now when you notice it's going to kind of get weird and get all kind of grayed out here uh, kind of like the embossed filter. I'm not sure exactly uh, what this filter does. I just know it works. And that's good enough for me. So if you'll notice here I have the radius set to 3.5 pixels. Uh, generally speaking, between 3 and 4, uh, you kind of want it to have this kind of grayed out appearance here, but still be able to see the highlights. If you crank it up too high, then it starts to, you know, look more like the photograph. And if you crank it down too much, you lose all the detail. So I think in this case, about 3.5 would be sufficient. And just hit OK doesn't look like much at this point, I understand. So here, we're going to go under our blending modes. And there's basically the two best options here are either soft light or hard light. Soft light is a little bit more subtle of a sharpening. The hard light is more aggressive. And you can decide, depending on what type of photograph you have, which blending mode is most appropriate for that. And of course, you can reduce the opacity on that layer uh, if you want to soften the effect a bit. We're going to first try here the soft light mode. Now, if, if you'll notice, it does sharpen it a bit. But this actually needs, this photograph here actually needs a little bit more sharpening. So we're going to go up and do the hard light. As you can see, it really brings out a lot more of the details. In fact, I'm going to zoom in here all the way. You can see it does a very nice job of sharpening. Brings out a lot of the details. Now, for example, you can take this uh, a little bit further. A couple different options that we have here. If, for an example, this was a different type of photograph, or maybe you just wanted to tone down the sharpening effect, then you could take your and reduce the opacity on that layer and kind of soften it up a bit depending on the effect that you were looking for. You also have the option perhaps uh, if this was something where you wanted to keep this area in here in a, more of a soft focus and have these other elements in the perimeter here appear sharper then we could simply put a layer mask and paint over this part and block that out. And we can do that by clicking down here where it says Add Layer Mask. 
and then we can take a paintbrush we're going to change our color of our paintbrush to black and then we're going to choose a paintbrush here something I guess we need to choose the paintbrush tool first that would be helpful whoa that's the jumbo size mucho grande all right uh, that looks to be about the right size and for something like this you might want to use a softer opacity mm, maybe try at 50 percent uh, or thereabouts all right and as far as the shape of the brush something with a medium soft edge maybe about like that and again this depends on your particular image and then we're going to paint with black which will essentially mask out see we can soften that up come in here and paint that with the black Maybe we even want to just go all the way and totally block this out. Maybe hard to see here, but in effect, what you're doing is softening that up. And you can see it uh, if you turned off this mask. You can see that we did soften that up. So that's one one method of. Uh, Sharpening photos works very well in a variety of situations, so play around with it and have a great day.